Gimli? Well, Jack, obviously only a few days away from a massive card here in Perth, a country and city specifically that's been starved for a big pay-per-view. So camp's out of the way, just got to make way and fight Randy Brown. What are the emotions now? Yeah, I'm feeling good. You know, I'm focused. I'm in my hometown, so it just feels like another day. But, yeah, I'm focused. I'm ready to fight. I'm ready to put on a good fight for the crowd. Has the week felt like another fight week, given that you are the hometown guy fighting? I'm sure you have more obligations to do just around the city, I would assume. Yeah, it's been to be. It's been nice just to be able to go home and, yeah, spend time with the family and not have to then go upstairs to a hotel room. So, it's, yeah, it feels a little bit different, but, yeah, I'm in the zone now, so I'm, it feels like a fight. I feel like there's a fight on the horizon. Looking at Randy Brown specifically, what do you make of him as an opponent? Uh, I think people don't realize how long he's been in the UFC. He's a tall, rangy guy, so what do you make of his skill set and what he brings? Yeah, he's a good, challenging opponent. He's extremely tall. He's been in the game a lot, fought some of the top guys in the division. So, yeah, I'm excited to challenge myself. I think I can beat him, and, yeah, that's what I'm coming to do. Who are some of the guys that you brought in to train with specifically, or did you bring anyone? Because Randy's one of the taller welterweights that you could probably fight in this division. Yeah, he definitely is a tall guy. I really haven't brought anyone different in. I've spent years training my brother, who's a pretty similar frame to Randy. So, yeah, it's a style that I'm used to fighting, and I think I've got the tools and the team to make it happen. Well, he has a good mix of knockout submissions and decisions. So is there a specific avenue that you think he just shines more than the others? Like, is he a better striker or grappler? Or does he just mix it all well together? In there? Uh, I'd probably just say he's pretty well-rounded, you know. He's got, yeah, as you said, he's good standing up. He's good on the ground. I think he's, a, he's got a diverse style. And, a, yeah, I think his range is one of his probably his most dangerous weapons. And in this division, there was obviously a big influx of these, you know, these prospects coming up. There was you, there was Hamza, there was Shafkat, there was Sean Brady, all of these guys. Do you feel like all those guys, or, or you're being overlooked compared to all of those guys because they're getting these, these like people are talking about Hamza fighting for the belts already. They want Shafkat to fight for the belt. Sean Brady was almost a number one contender fight. Uh, do you feel like you're overlooked in this division as a prospect? Uh, not really. I think I've had a few fights. I think, yeah, hopefully after this fight, then be right in there with those guys and hopefully competing with one of those guys soon. So Sat, so Monday morning here in one, after the fight, uh, what, what does the headline say? How does this fight play out? I, I think I'm going to put, uh, my plan is put on a master class, you know, go in there not be hit and damage Randy from the get-go. Uh, and then final one for me, how do you see the main event going between Alex and Islam? I think I'm um, back in the Aussie, you know, I think Alex has the tools to make it happen and I think it's a it's a, yeah, it's a tough one for him, but I think he can make it happen. Thank you. And Jack, uh, you started your career 0-2, you're now 13-2. Same coach, same city. You're in Perth. UFC's here. You are the talk of the card. Is it sort of like a crowning moment to you, even though you, you've got a long career ahead of you, but is, is it a real pinnacle moment for you? Yeah, for sure. You know, I'm always excited for the next fight this is the next fight it's something that I always thought would happen you know fight here in front of a big crowd in the UFC and to happen this early is a yeah dream come true and uh you're a dad now how's that uh affected training camp uh, it's you know what it's actually bringing balance to my life you know just a lot more rest in between which is nice and, mate, you got years left on this career, but I just wanted to ask, ask one thing. After it's all said and done, how does Jack Della want to be remembered? I want to be, uh, I don't know, I want to go down as one of the, probably the smoothest movers in the game. That's it. Good luck. Cheers, man. I don't know, I just like to put on, every time I fight, I want to be, I just want to look nice fighting. <laughs> Well, it's worked so far. I mean, uh, that, that rookie year in the UFC couldn't get much better. Is there a certain pressure you're putting on yourself to live up to those expectations? You're using words like master class and things like that. Yeah, well, that's what I'm gunning for, the perfect performance. Obviously, the perfect performance is a, it's a tough mountain to get to, I guess, but that's the plan, you know. Go in there, not get hit, and land a lot of strikes. How close were the last ones to the perfect performance? I mean, three first-round KOs in a row, it's pretty good. Yeah, there's, I think there's things I can improve on, you know. But, yeah, hopefully this one, I, if it goes three rounds, hopefully I can put on a good show. Yeah.
Yeah, and I'm just curious. Uh, tomorrow you'll be at the press conference with you know the four title fight competitors, and that's obviously a big stage, a big opportunity. Do you like think about you know how you want to represent yourself up there, the kind of impression you want to give on a stage like that, where there's going to be a lot of people, or do you just go up there not really thinking about it, be yourself? Yeah, just think I'm focused on the fight. You know, I put all my focus on the fight, and this stuff is just yeah bonus. But yeah, the fight is what I'm after, and I want to put on a good show. Just wanted to get like a prediction on Usman versus Leon Edwards for the title. I think Leon's gonna. I think Leon can do it again. You know, I think he's probably. I think for rematches, that when the younger guy wins the first time, I think he's probably gonna win the second time. And I think he's got the skill set to do it. And I think honestly, I think it's uh, Usman's time has been. And yeah, I think uh, Leon will get the win. Hey, Jack, how are you going? Good, thank you. Um, coming in after three first-round first, uh, first round knockouts, does a kind of sense of complacency kind of build where you're, we, you have a fight coming up and you're like, yeah, no, I'll get this done? Or do you, in the prep, are you always like, no, this could go three rounds, I've got to be prepared, um, and you have like a team that kind of pull you in, or do you not kind of have that problem? No, I'm focused. I'm ready to go three rounds. That's obviously what I've signed up to do, so... Yeah, I'm ready to go three rounds. If I can get it out of there early, then that's just a bonus. And you mentioned how you're just focused on the fight, but you are fighting about as close to home as you can fight. Yeah. Um, and this is all your family and friends um, supporting you. Does that? Do you feel any kind of pressure going into that, or is it kind of a fire that lights up underneath you? Yeah, I think it's the pressure. You know, I think it is an important thing, and it would just make the win feel that much better. So, yeah, I'm going to embrace the pressure and... This isn't something you get to do every day, so I'm going to enjoy every second of it. And it might potentially be the only time this happens, but how are you feeling about having a fight and then going home to sleep in your own bed? Yeah, it's incredible. You know, that is a big bonus. You know, go home straight after the fight, eat these food that I'm used to eating and continue on my life the next day. Cool. Cheers, mate. Yeah. Darren Hill mentioned that like, he trains almost exclusively in Liverpool and... Then he went over to Thailand and he picked up like a lot of extra skills and what have you. Does that interest you in the future maybe of going outside of Perth? And if so, where would you ideally want to go? Yeah, no, I've actually, yeah, I think this year I plan on going to Thailand at some point, you know, take the family, have a little holiday and it's a good excuse to holiday and get some good training with different people. But yeah, the team is, my team at the moment is getting... The work that I need to be done, and that's what it's yeah, that's what it's about. Sweet.